Good morning guys, it's Sunday. I just woke up, but this morning I'm going to be working on a Halloween project. Not for myself, it's actually for my roommate. Um, he wants to um, make some boot covers. Um, and so I have kind of been volunteered for that task. <laughs> so um, that's what I am working on this morning. And I'll insert a picture so you guys kind of have an idea of like what it's supposed to look like or whatever. But um, that's kind of like what we're trying to get to. We'll see how close and accurate we get um, come end of day, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so, so far this is what I've done. I measured around the bottom where the gators are going to end and um just like really loosely with my tape measure because it's going to kind of like flare out at the bottom and so that's how long i made this the square and then i made it the total like height that i think it's going to be and then i measured at the top where it's going to end and i measured from each end in from this point i went ahead and tried it on my roommate's leg and just kind of got a general shape for what we were working with and i pinned the front and the back um i had just already unpinned the back at this point so I pretty much just pinned them on. This was where that middle um, line was, but I pretty much, I pinned them on and I gave a little bit of space here to like be able to do that because I haven't cut away where the um, lacing is gonna be. So I pinned them in the back and then it was pretty much just like a straight rectangle and I pinned down the front of his leg and this is kind of the shape that I got. So probably, um, I'm going to have to shape it a little bit more just to kind of like smooth out some of these spots here. But that is pretty much it. Oh, and then um, obviously it was coming to a point because, you know, there's curve right here. So I had to kind of like make that to where there wasn't a point at the toe. But I'm probably going to still have to add like about an inch to this just to make sure that it covers everything. But um, yeah, that is what my pattern is looking like. Okay, so I started working on this with only a glance at the picture and upon looking at the picture now to like verify that everything looks right, I realized that I messed up. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about real fast. Okay, I made this thinking that it only had a front seam and then it had laces in the back when in reality the laces were on the side and so I could shape the back as well to kind of create like better curves because like this is very drastic and I was thinking like that's really drastic to have to do just one curve I was like and they look more fitted than that than what like one just one shaped seam would allow and I was like text me the picture of this because it wasn't on my phone it was on my roommate's phone and so I looked at it and I was like oh shit so I drew a line halfway up and um that's where the laces are gonna go and see i had already i was about to cut this to take off for um so there's room to lace it even tighter than what i like was making it um so i'm glad i didn't cut that off but so now i have this line where the laces are going to actually be going and i am going to probably i think i'm just gonna go ahead and sew up this curve right here um and then i, I don't know maybe fit the back to to make it even more i don't know if i should Hmm. You know what? Actually, no, that's not what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to put this back down on paper and see how much I actually cut away. Like, say if this was like an inch that I cut away, I'm going to divide that by two. So I'm going to have a half inch only cut away here to like there and then cut away the half inch equally on the other side and just see how how far that gets me and um, refit it after that. Because like this is, I was like, man, I, I was like moving and grooving and now I'm like having to restart again, but that's okay. I'd rather it be right than um, fast. So <laughs> that's what I'm about to do and I'll up you, update you guys whenever um, I have something kind of, you know, better worked out than this. <laughs> Okay, so I think I have it mostly figured out. So I was going to like measure and then transfer to this side, but I was like, why am I doing that? I can just find the midpoint here and then I'm gonna fold it in half on the center line where the laces are gonna go, cut it out. It'll mirror to the other side, but first I'm gonna go ahead and add some seam allowance here. Um, so that way it'll transfer over as well and they, he can get in and out of it while I'm trying it on him. Um, but yeah, I have a little bit of room for adjustment there too once we fit it. But yeah, this is much, much better looking than what the original one was looking like. So I'm going to do that real fast and then I can cut it out and we can fit it again. Once I was relatively happy with the way my pattern was starting to look, I added my seam allowances. 
I cut out the pattern piece and then I added my notches and any other pattern markings that I needed. Now, for the side of the boot cover that would have the lacing, I would need a separate pattern piece for, or rather two separate pattern pieces for, because down the center of that pattern piece, I would need to add seam allowance for the modesty panel, and I would also need to add um, a fold back so that way the grommets, the edge where the grommets were at, would be both clean finished and it would have an extra layer for the grommets to be punched through. Once I had that all done, I went ahead and cut it out of some scrap fabric and it was time to try it on to see if the fit was looking good. This is what the first mock-up looks like. And I didn't lace it like we would um, just because uh, it was just going to take too long. We didn't have grommets set into it because we just wanted to see what the general shape would be. And here you can see that there is some bulkiness underneath it because of his pants. That was kind of unavoidable, but I was hoping at this point that the um, thickness of the fabric would actually kind of help hide some of that. After fitting it, I didn't really make any changes from this point. Um, I thought that they were pretty decent. In retrospect, I would have lengthened them even more and added a little bit more flair to around the boot just so it could have an easier time gliding over the shape of his boot. But for a Halloween costume, it was not bad. So I went ahead and cut it out of the fabric and punched my holes for the grommets and started sewing it up. Okay, so I've joined the seams and I noticed that it was fraying quite a bit and instead of deciding to serge it, I just went ahead and did an overlock on the edge. This is actually an overlock plus seam, but I thought it would give it a little bit of extra stability. Um, and then I top stitched it from the outside with heavy duty thread um, about an eighth of an inch from each um, from the seam. And then I have added a modesty like a modesty panel um to where the lacing is going to be so this is where the grommets are going to be at and then i stitch this on with a quarter of an inch and then um, i'm going to press it to where there is double layers behind here where the um grommets are going to be and then this will go inside so that way the whenever you have it laced if you have a gap then you won't see anything behind it. And then I did the same thing on this side, except there is no modesty panel. I've just um, ironed it over. And now from here, I can add the grommets after I bind it. Okay guys, this is what I've gotten done so far. And I'm pretty much at a stopping point. I'm going to wait um, to finish this because all I have left to do is the binding and it's gonna be in a contrast fabric and I haven't cut it yet. And I really don't feel like doing that tonight. Um, and then um, I'll have to add the grommets. But yeah, so I did the top stitching. I have just barely enough space to do the um, grommets. Some of these are a little bit off on my marking, but yeah, so like I have just barely enough space. And then um, this is what the little panel on the inside looks like now. So I have this like little flap for the grommets and then this modesty um, panel right here. It's kind of funny because it looks like a little, like a little corset or something already like. <laughs> He's got quite a uh, shapely calf, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, so there you go. Now it's time to do the binding. I have already cut it out. If you guys want to see um, a tutorial on how to do that, I'll go ahead and link one down below for you on a really good one on how to cut um, continuous bias if you have a lot to cut. But here I am just folding my pre-made bias um, in half and that's just to help me have a good hard edge so I know um, where to fold to make sure that it stays even all the way around the covers whenever it's time for me to flip it. Now it was at this point that I realized that this fabric was going to be too thick to sew through um, just the 
the binding fabric as well as the self fabric that my roommate picked out was very thick um, and I did not want to put my machine through that and potentially break a needle and I was in a hurry to finish this so I decided to go ahead and finish the edge of the inside of the binding the same way that I finished the seams for the boot covers with the overcast stitch um, and then when it came time to turn it to the inside, I just left that side hanging so it was a lot less layers to have to sew through in the end. Once I was done finishing the raw edge of the inside of the bias, I went ahead and flipped it to the inside and used my clear stitch in the ditch foot to stitch in the ditch. <laughs> And while I didn't talk about it or put it on camera, I did go back and finish the um, the sides of the bias binding that were folded. I went back and did a whip stitch on them just to make sure that the raw edges didn't peek out on the ends. Once I finished the binding, all that was left to do was to put the grommets in, which turned out to be the biggest headache of the entire project. Luckily, I was smart and decided to make sure to test the grommets on the fabric before I did it on my actual project, which ended up saving this project because I realized that the grommet tool that I had did not fit the grommets that I had, and I had forgotten about it because the last time I used it was years ago. And so um, <laughs> it was completely destroying the grommets. Now, I was on a huge time crunch to get this done, and the fabric store was closed so I couldn't go and get it and I was definitely not going to be waking up early to make it happen so what I decided to do was to test using my snap tool now I do not recommend doing this because it does not make for the prettiest grommet but it did a hell of a lot better than what my actual grommet tool um, would do so I went ahead and used a snap setter to put my grommets in and it wasn't the best but it got the job done and I used the um, the tool first to punch a hole in my fabric and then set the grommet so it actually ended up helping in multiple ways. So since last time I showed you guys what was going on I have put the grommets in though the grommet setting tool that I have does not match the grommets that I actually um, like the size that I have and so I kind of just jankily put them in with like a, a snap setting tool because that was the best thing that I had at the time. Um, so those are in they're in well enough that they're not going to um like m you know rip out or whatever but if i want to i can just like take them out with pliers and, and reset them so they're not like terrible but they're definitely not up to my standards but yeah that's kind of what they look like they're like half rolled over the edge but so all the grommets are set in i also attached a leather strap to the bottom to um, go um, on the instep of the foot and so on one side there is a screw on concho and it looks like that it just screws in so I had to punch a like, rather large hole in this um, leather strap this leather strap actually came from um, some kit I think is at Hobby Lobby um, that my roommate picked up that's actually to make a dog collar so it had all the pieces in it that we actually needed but yeah so this is what the other side looks like where it comes in. So I attached a loop of leather here and attached it with two rivets and this little guy here and the buckle and yeah. So now whenever he puts it on, he'll have to lace this whole thing up and then loop this strap underneath his foot and anchor it down. But he wants it to look as realistic as like possible, like as the originals would have looked back in the day. So this is kind of what we came up with to do. So I'm going to go ahead and let him model his outfit and these skaters boot covers whatever you want to call them and you can guys can see what we came up with